Uh, hey there. Um, so today I'm going to take a look at New English Brewing Company's Tory Pines Black Beach Stout. Oh, I forgot to write down the alcohol content. Shucks. Well, here are my notes on what the name is. Um, it has some alcohol in it, presumably, um, but we don't know. Um, so this is um, out of my sub machine. Um, this is the last beer out of that pour. So um, I actually poured this a couple minutes ago, but then needed to tame my hair a little bit. Um, and so the head has dissipated. It was nice and heady when I did pour it. Um, and um, let me see here. Um, gosh, I haven't done reviews recently, and apparently I've forgotten how to do it. My friend Mercuria pointed out the fact that I haven't posted any reviews, and I was clearly slacking on my job, so my apologies. Hello, Mercuria. Um, beer review. Um, all right, um, let's, ha let's have smell of this. Um, Smell-wise, it's beautifully stouty. Um, nice roasted, toasted grains in here. Um, a little bit of that kind of acrid, almost said French toast. What is that coffee? French roast. Um, coffee aroma. Um, mostly grains though. I don't really get a lot of coffee necessarily, but more grain, um, which is delightful. It has a nice creamy head to it. You can see uh, it kind of sticks to the glass. A little leggy, not leggy, lacy, uh, sticks to the glass. Um, so really nice creamy head on this beer, which I appreciate a lot. Um, very, very dark as you can see. Um, no light is coming through here and my computer thinks, oh my goodness, it's so dark you better brighten the screen. So, you know, that's, that's a testament to how dark this beer is. A little tiny hint of red light, um, but just a little bit where it thins out in the glass. Um, so cheers, let's have a drink. Mm. This beer would be phenomenal as a nitrous stout. Um, it is already so velvety and creamy as is. Um, it has this really deep roastedness to it, um, which is pretty much the only flavor I'm getting out of this beer. Um, it is drying um, and uh, you get that kind of coffee, black coffee um, flavor out of it. It's, it's really delicious. Sometimes stouts have a sweetness about them. This is not even a little bit, not in any way at all sweet. Um, so nice, deep, rich, roasty notes um, and this um, amazingly kind of smooth velvet um, mouthfeel to it. Very delightful drink. Um, I, I was going to take a guess at the alcohol content, but I guess I can just open this thing up and look. So hold two seconds. Sounds like a spaceship over here. Um, uh, okay, so New English Brewing Company, 5.8% alcohol. Um, and it has this kind of range um, for bitterness and flavor intensity on the side here, um, which is, this is not my favorite graphic that I've experienced um, because this beer is, is bitter, but not in an IPA way. So I'm wondering if they were thinking like IBU, IBUs, bitterness, um, and now I'm very curious what its actual bitterness uh, IBUs might be. I guess I can look that up, but I'm not going to. Um, so definitely um, bitter and um, an acrid like like you would expect from a stout, um, and it gives it only a like a 50% flavor intensity, which nah, wrong. Um, this beer is super intense. This is really for people who are into dark beers that love that really intense stout flavor, um, or um, and or don't like sweet beers because this beer is not sweet and it's super intense, very dark and roasty and amazing. Um, and then, like I said, I think my favorite characteristic of this beer is how smooth it is. Um, and just for the record, this um, this particular torp that I just emptied um, has been on tap for, gosh, I want to say maybe two weeks. 
possibly not that long, but this has been a rough couple of weeks, and so very well um, it has been sitting there waiting for me that whole time. Um, and it still came out um, uh, nicely carbonated and really smooth, poured with a really nice head, um, and is incredibly drinkable. So that's another testament to how great this is. So two weeks, you know, two weeks on the counter, and this beer um, was just like a fresh tap. So um, you know, cheers to uh, the Hopsy um, submachine. So anyway, that's New English Brewing Company's Tory Pines Black Beach Stout at 5.8%. Uh, and this is one of the offerings out of the San San Diego market. And so here in the San Francisco Bay Area, I can get San Francisco beers and San Diego beers. Um, they also have beers in the New York market and um, Chicago? I don't remember the other market they just opened. I've forgotten. Unfortunately, I cannot get beers from those two markets here. Um, they don't really cross the United States just yet. I don't know if that's something they're going to change in the future. Um, you know, they want to ship you fresh beer and all of that, whatever, right? Um, so as soon as we get notice that you can get beers from other markets, um, I'm all over that because there are some beers coming out of New York that I definitely want to try um, and some brewers that um, I know consistently put out great beers. So check that out. Um, alrighty then. So um, that's Tory Pines Black Beach Stout. Um, share with me if this is something that you've tried. Let me know what your thoughts were. Um, and then if you drank it out of a bottle or a can or however it comes packaged normally, share with me if you thought it was super creamy and velvety out of that packaging. Um, and then I feel like it's probably not a, um, a nitrous. Um, probably I don't know if it's available as a nitrous beer, uh, as a nitrous can or whatever. Um, but if it is, tell me because I would love to know that. Because this beer I think is one of those beers that would just be superb as a nitrous um, uh, carbonation. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching and have a good night.